All right, what's up, guys? This is Xumberts, and this is Montage Editing for Beginners number two. And uh, first of all, I just want to say um, I want to say sorry for not posting. Um, I haven't really been busy. It's just that I don't know. I kind of got over the whole YouTube thing. Uh, I've been doing YouTube for like two years now, and I haven't really gotten one video that got really popular or anything so i don't know i was just kind of over it and yeah but um this uh this video that i'm making right now is actually the most requested video i've ever made or got whatever i don't know anyways so go ahead and open your sony vegas i have 11 because i just got it and um Actually, people requested um, the rendering settings and uh, the properties that I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and import a clip. And um, I use these rendering settings and properties for for every video. Um, this is just some footage I took with my mom's... Um, what is it? Uh, Nikon. I don't know. Something. Something crazy. Some crazy camera. Uh, Alright, so I'm just going to cut this video with S, if you remember from the last tutorial. Of uh, this guy skating. I don't know why the heck I have this. This is actually from a class project that I did. Um, so I'm going to cut that. And uh, drag it to the beginning. And then, what, um, what a lot of editors do, uh, a lot of good editors do go to properties and you go you uncheck maintain aspect ratio and you press disable resample and I'm honestly not really sure what that does but yeah okay so you have your clip um, or whatever however many clips you have and then you go up here to this button project properties looks like a little black arrow with a bunch of black lines and like a light blue almost white square thing and then I have a preset right here I have a preset for uh, 29.97 frames per second and one for 59.94 um, when I'm rendering out like a full montage which I don't do a lot um, but I have this here just in case I render it out in 29.97 that's because it makes it look better, like not really, I don't know, it makes it look more like a, a movie, and yeah. And then when I'm just rendering out clips that I want to put into After Effects to Twixter or something, then I render it out in 59.94, because that um, makes a lot smoother Twixtering. Anyways... So I'm going to go to this one right here, my 59.94. And then if you guys just want to pause the video and copy these settings, or I can just read them, um, width 1280, height 720, uh, field order, lower field first, pixel aspect ratio 1.2121, uh, NTSC DV widescreen, output rotation 0 degrees, uh, frame rate 59.94, double NTSC, stereoscopic 3D mode off, pixel format 8-bit, full resolution rendering quality, good. Uh, pretty sure that should be best. Uh, I'm just going to change it to best. Motion blur type Gaussian, deinterlaced method, blend fields, um, adjust source media to better match project or render settings is checked. Uh, pre-rendered file folders, just leave that alone. Start all new projects with these settings. Um, you can if you want to, but I don't because it's not that hard to change it once you get in. Um, then go ahead and click up. Uh, actually, if you want to save a preset for that, um, go ahead and do that right now. You just click on this save template. You type a name in here. I'm not going to type anything because it's going to screw it up, but you type something in there. I just have PVR 59.94 and then you just click save template and yeah so you have that and 
Yeah, you don't really see anything different. It's kind of pixelated, actually. I don't know. Anyways, that's because it's on preview. Um, okay, for the render settings now, you go to render as. Um, okay, and then you're going to want to go to Windows Media Video V11 or WMV, WMV. And just click on one of these things and just go to Customize. Um, yeah, let's see here. So, mode, you're going to want to change it to CBR. Hang on one sec, I'm sorry. Yep, all right, mode, you're going to want to change it to CBR. Um, format, Windows Media Audio 9.2. Attributes, 192 kilobytes per second. 48 kilohertz. Uh, if that's what that is, stereo A V C B R. Mm, yeah, that one. And then video mode C B R. Format Windows Media Nine. Image size, uh, 1280 by 720. High definition. Frame rate 59.94 seconds per keyframe. Five. Override default compression buffer. Checked. Uh, three seconds. Video smoothness 100. Um, leave that as it is. Index summary project video rendering quality best stereoscopic 3D mode. Just keep it as use project settings, and then yeah, you're done. Um, I don't know what that is. I don't want that there. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and just render that really fast, and it renders pretty fast into a uh, fairly small file. So I mean. You don't really have to worry about space. But yeah, these are the best rendering settings for a PVR. Um, I just use it for everything that I that I render out. Mm. Let's see, what are we at? How much time are we at? I don't know. Wow, I don't know why this is so slow. Um I think I'm going to pause the video really fast, and I will come back when it's done. All right, guys. Um, I'm back, and it is done rendering. Um, this little dialog box thing should, uh, I don't know, you can check close it when it's done rendering. It just closes. Um, otherwise, it stays here, and you just press close. Or you can press open. Um <laughs> I'm honest, oops, honestly, I'm not sure where I rendered that out to. Uh, oh, in my documents, all right. Yeah, right here. I'm just going to drag that to the desktop. And I don't know if Camtasia is going to, like, is going to be able to, or let you see this, but. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. It looks really good. I'm um, pretty sure I was actually recording in 1080p on the camera, so you could render it out in 1080p if you wanted, and you just change the video size. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's about all. Um, if you guys could comment below saying what you want next, uh, I don't. I'm not really sure what to. Like after after I render it out, out, I usually import it into After Effects and do stuff in there. So if you want me to uh, show you guys what I do in there next time, then yeah, comment that. Um, so please like the video and favorite it. Show a lot. Of, show a bunch of people so that they can know what the best rendering settings are. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you later.